Thanks, Pradeep Pindiala, Professor of Anesthesiology. Wish you all a very happy weekend. Let's chat a few things about anesthesia machine and what are the likely simple questions which could be asked in Viva. Pertaining to anesthesia machine and related topics. Let's start just few minutes, okay? Since it is weekend, I won't trouble you long. So, what is the pipeline pressure and why is it kept slightly higher than the cylinder outlet pressure? Are you aware? The pipeline pressure is around 60 psi and the cylinder outlet pressure is around 55 psi. The question is why do we have pipeline pressure slightly higher than the cylinder outlet pressure more than 55 as I just mentioned, pipeline pressure is 60 psi. So that when both are open, the pipeline gas is used over, preferably over the cylinder. Because it's like a bank balance. You should not exhaust the cylinder. Okay, you don't mind, we don't mind if you are using pipeline gas. That's the reason. Okay, was it okay? And uh, I just mentioned, and what is slave regulator? <clears throat> I'm sure you know. The oxygen pressure regulator controls the output of the nitrous oxide. It is one of the safety features, okay, like link 25, all those things. And <clears throat> what is uh, DISS? That is diameter index safety system, just like PIN, isn't it? DISS work on Schneider valve and probe mechanism and you know what is it? Um, what is the driving pressure of uh, a ventilator? Around 55 to 60 psi. Okay. And what is filling ratio? What is filling ratio? What do you understand by? Is the ratio of the weight of the liquid gas had it been filled with the water of the cylinder. That is the filling ratio. Okay. Then I am sure you know what is the Bodox seal. Bodox seal is nothing but neoprene washer. Again, it is one of the safety features. You know. And it is normally placed in between the cylinder and the yoke assembly. That is what I am sure should be knowing what one of the another uh, safety feature of uh, vice apparatus is wood's metal what is wood's metal this is a fusible plug which is kept in between the cylinder uh, fitted with the yoke you know what happened uh, not exactly yoke it's a part of the plug in the cylinder itself it's a valve like thing which gets melted with high temperature that prevents explosion and that metal is known as woods metal and you should know that okay you should know these safety features very much i'm sure you know uh, the different type of valves are flush type and bull nose footing fitting and all i'm sure you know these things and what is the material used for valves it is normally chromium coated bronze or brass normally and most of the cylinders are molybdenum steel okay never use it in mri <laughs> magnetic resonating imaging uh, equipment where there's they are using it don't use that <laughs> you will be pulled into that because the molybdenum get attracted with the magnetic field never do that okay and uh, what is the pressure of nitrous oxide? If it is half full, it is the same as the full. This is around 750. Okay. And similarly, what is the pressure of oxygen? It is around 2000 psi. Or 1987 psi. You can remember it. And uh, what is the pin index of oxygen? That you must know. That you can't forget. 
to 5 okay these are all safety feature color coding all these things are nothing but safety features of uh, uh, when it comes to uh, voice operators you have to know that okay other two types of cylinder valves are pack type and diaphragm type you should know these things if you can answer these questions you'll get extra marks okay and uh, what is the color coding of Antonox cylinder? Normally it is blue body with the shoulder of white and blue. Okay, that is the answer. And uh, what is it? What is cracking? See, if somebody is trying to fill the cylinder attached to the yoke, we always say don't fit it immediately. Crack it and then place it on the yoke. Why? Why not? You are removing any dust particles from the yoke, <coughs> from the valve, opening the cylinder, cylinder valve. So that if it is directly fit, fitted into the yoke, what will happen? That dust which is there in the cylinder will go into the circulating system of the uh separator that can choke or block the complete uh, boil separators and you can't give the adequate amount of uh, uh, your oxygen or whatever. What is zeolite? Zeolite is very interesting thing. Zeolite is the thing which absorbs nit nitrogen from the air and it is used in oxygen concentrators. Okay, and oxygen concentrators, concentrators usually deliver around 95 to 96% of oxygen. When you don't have enough money or wherewithal to get it. Fresh oxygen cylinders, at least oxygen concentrator can be easily available, can be used. And that use the uh, zeolites. That is nothing but hydrated aluminum silicate. Okay, that absorbs nitrogen and releases oxygen. You should know that and uh, DISS works on quick coupler, nothing but shader, valve and probe mechanism. Link 25, I am sure you know it and uh, slave regulator, that is one of the safety features of oxygen uh, boil separators, safety features. Color coding is another uh, safety feature. And minimum mandatory flow is around 200 ml. Even if you close the flow meter, 200 ml keeps flowing. That is another safety feature. Minimum mandatory flow. Okay. And uh, there is another thing. Pressure opening safety. Relief valve is situated just prior to the common gas outlet. And that gets open at 200 centimeter of water. That is another safety feature. And scavenging system is another, I would say, a safety feature only for, especially for the people who are working in the operation theatre. And uh, how it works with the flow meter at low flow and uh, laminar flow, it works on what principles? Normally, it works on the factor viscosity and uh, it uses hagen poissons law. Okay, for the laminar flow. I won't go into details of Hagen Poison's law. And normally the examiners always ask about Hagen Poison's law. It works on the principle of lamina and the viscosity in the flow meter. You have to know this thing. And uh, what are the other various uh, flow meters you know? It could be rotameter, it could be heat brink, conal. Meter, all those things. If you can name them, nothing like it. And uh, and what is it? Uh, uh, it's known as rotameter. You know, it rotates in the flow meter. And uh, normally, it is uh, Thorpe's tube. What is the specific thing feature of the Thorpe tube? It is normally the uh, thing you know goes on tapering at the bottom and opens broad at the 
So that's why when the rotometer keeps moving higher for the thing in the flow meter, more amount of gas is given. Isn't it? So that is it. And uh, vaporizers are normally constructed of copper. Why copper? Because it has good specific heat capacity and thermal conductivity and it's malleable. That's the reason, isn't it? And you should be able to answer what is plenum vaporizers normally require the principle of pressure. Pressurized fresh gas flow, isn't it? And you should know what is uh, measured flow vaporizer. Best example, uh, copper kettle. No doubt about it. <coughs> and uh, what is uh, pumping effect? Pumping effect is suppose you are giving, you know, pressing the uh, reservoir bag and the pressure goes backwards and the amount of vaporizer which you are supposed to be given is much more because of pumping effect from the vaporizers that is the pumping effect and uh, uh, what is the color code of cyclopropane we really use it now it's nothing but orange should be able to um, tell that and uh, okay and uh, what are the things like low flow you are giving low flow uh, anesthesia that means normally uh, 500 ml to 1000 maximum to 2 we always say don't give anything less than 2 liters when you are using semoflurin what is the problem because of Compound A that can harm the renal system. Okay, you should never use it below 2 liters per minute. Low flow anesthesia when you, you are using semoflurin. That is the reason. And uh, I am sure you know what are the various parts of laryngoscope like flange, then spatula, handle and uh, all those things should be able to tell that hinge and spatula flange various parts of uh, laryngoscope there should not be any doubt about it and normally you use that curved laryngoscope blade that is nothing but macintosh if it is straight it has to be miller wisconsin flag fla double g you know very rarely asked but you should be able to answer that various parts of endotracheal tube what is the role of Murphy's eye? If God forbid the tip is blocked, still there is some element of oxygen or whatever fresh gas flow going through the side opening that is Murphy's eye in the endotracheal tube. And normally written CE, it is nothing, it confirms to the requirements of European standards, confirms, isn't it? That is it. And uh, when you are using endotracheal tube in a child, I am sure you know. Uh, so, if it is below 6 years, you have to give age in years divided by 3 plus 3.5 and if it is more than 6 years, it is age divided by 4 plus 4.5. That is the size of endotracheal tube we have to select for intubating the child. Thanks for patient listening. Have a wonderful day. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.